and I'm Layton, and two is, is better than, than one. one. Today we have a really iconic Mercedes for everyone today. It's a great, very special car, but before we get into this, make sure and subscribe to our YouTube page, click the bell to turn the notifications on, follow our Facebook and our Instagram, and check out our website for all of our current inventory and more information on this Mercedes. All right, so what we have for everyone today is a really special Mercedes. This one is a 1988 Mercedes-Benz 560 SEL. So this is gonna be a W126. And I think we're just really lucky to find this one. It's in great condition, it's super well-maintained, really beautiful car for sure. Yeah, that iconic front, I mean, it's just so iconic. When you look at it, you know, that's a 560 SEL driving down the road, and mm -hmm. I don't know, I just really, really like that front. Yeah, the grill looks really nice. I love the chrome around the grill, and up front we have something really special. We have the European headlights on the front, which is really cool, you know, kind of an added thing that you wouldn't see on, you know, an American car per se. Down below you also have the wiring down there that's going to give you your uh, temperature control and all that, so you... The car can sense what the outside temperature is. Hot and humid here. <laughs> yeah, right? Headlights are super clear. You can tell this car has been garage kept, extremely well maintained. Mm -hmm. I love one of my favorite parts is these little wipers on those front headlights. I think it's just kind of the, the coolest thing. Mm -hmm. They're so cute, it's adorable. And it's got a steel front bumper, which is nice. And then you got the chrome on top, which I think is a real nice added look. Yeah that shine and it glistens. So on the side, we have some great wheels all around on this car. These are 15 inch aero wheels. And I think they're just such a staple with a lot of those Mercedes cars. I think they're the best looking older Mercedes wheels. Very nice look overall. You also have four wheel disc brakes on the car. Tires are in great shape as well. On here you have 205 65R15s and they're Cooper tires. Yeah, I love that look. Yeah, it's just a great look all around. One thing that's nice from the side too is you have that bumper in kind of like that darker gray and it kind of carries around here on the side. You've got the, um, just that, it, it's got, nice how it wraps around the clotting for rust protection and everything like that. Mm-hmm. This is the long cab too, which is nice. It's a very big car, spacious. Yeah, and this was part of the second series. And so these were revised from the first series. And so mm -hmm. the second series goes from 86 to 91. So this one's kind of right in the middle. Yeah, it's got that facelift. Looks, I, I love the look of these over that, the first ones too. Yeah. Very classic, they refine some of those. about the taillights is they're kind of like ribbed they have these rivets in them and so that was a cool design feature that they chose to design these uh, taillights like that and they're on the side too so that when dust or even snow or different things would cover they wouldn't get inside and you could still see your taillights without having to clean them or anything like that's that that's really cool and I mean they're functional but also they look cool they and look I, so neat it yeah. just adds some dimension to the back here this is one of those cars that Mercedes really spared no expense. It's one that they designed, you know, not not for the price. They designed it off the standard of how they wanted to build the car and not the cost. Should we pop the trunk? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at all that space. These were kind of like the European limousines. So you had to have space for suitcases and luggage. Very yeah. luxurious car. I love the trunk underneath. Also have the original spare and that toolkit. I love that it's all, this car's been preserved. It's not been, you know. Redone at all. Yeah. yeah. I no. really love the look. I know. I can't believe the carpet in here is just so well kept. Yeah, it, looks, it is. It looks new. No rips and tears. Yeah. And I love that trunk. It just feels so solid when you close it. Mm -hmm. On the back, you still have your original 560 SEL badging. 
So it is an S class, which is really, you know, top of the line for Mercedes, E fuel injected, isn't it? And mm -hmm. then L for the long wheelbase. I was talking about though, I think the L should be for luxury because this is like just such a luxurious car. Yeah. All right, should we check out what's under the hood? Yeah. Wow, look at that. It's just super clean and I can't believe this is a, you know, a car from the 80s. It's crazy. Um, this is the 5.6 liter V8, 238 horsepower. Ooh. Yeah, and then you also have your ABS, your anti-lock um, brake braking system. That's real nice. One thing that's real nice too is Mercedes went above and beyond with the safety on this car. And you know, cars in this time, there's crumple zones in the front and the back. So if you're ever hit by a car or anything, it was meant to crumple up like an accordion and keep the passengers safe, which is kind of neat. Yeah, that's funny. Mercedes. And even though it's an 88, the top speed, it's 155 and 0 to 60 oh, wow. in 6.9 seconds. This thing's quick. I'm really excited to test this one out and drive it around. Yeah. Close it up check out the inside beautiful so we're going to check out those back seats first all right well first off when you sit down in them they they're springy and super comfortable very comfortable and we also have the front seats are all the way back and I'm gonna have to pull my seat up when we get in. So like, there's gonna be a lot of space. Still a ton of space. Carpet mm -hmm. back here, great condition. And over here, you have automatic windows, and then you have your heated seats in the rear. And then also right here, since we don't have the car on, it won't work, but these seats actually come out and it, it kind of reclines these rear seats to make it more spacious and comfortable. That's not the most luxurious feature. Back seats that recline with heated seats. Yeah, and then also, here you go. So your uh, passengers here can have a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The interior, the blue is absolutely striking. It's mm -hmm. so perfect and just bold enough, but not too much. Yeah. All right, let's start it off. And here are those doors when you close them. They're it's solid. Like, this is such a sturdy, well-built, well-made car. Just listen when you open it up. It's nothing cheap. This is a true German-made car. Okay. <laughs> a couple more things up front here, too. We also have that air vent as well, like Layton pointed out in a previous video. So that air vent, whatever, you know, AC or heat you have going on is gonna go through the side of the vent and it's gonna come out through those perforated little holes on the side, which is really neat. You even have memory on the driver's side, which is, it's crazy. I, I love this car. It's so ahead of its time and it's super well maintained. All right. for this one yeah let's Swirls get the windows, the windows up. up I love that they're all in the center too yeah yeah it's definitely a really nice look I just this is such a comfortable ride I can tell I'm really yeah. not gonna be complaining about driving around in this one well yeah you're just like it's really like a sofa or yeah, something yeah like you that. move with the car mm-hmm it's really comfortable and for an older car it handles really well mm-hmm
right, here she goes. Getting blocked. She's getting blocked today. That's all right. I feel like this is more of a cruiser anyways. It is. I really love how it drives. Yeah. That's the capability to go fast, but I don't know. I just, something about this just seems okay. like a cruiser. Yeah, it's just such a solid car, too. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel it when you shut the doors. You feel it as you're driving. Like, it's just so well built. Yeah. Extremely solid, and it just, you're almost one with the road. What yeah. It feels like. Newer cars are still German-made, but this is truly, like, German-made. You know right. what I mean? On all the wood. It's all real wood. And behind each paneling has the initials of the, uh, the man who actually like, crafted that specific Wow. I think that's just so special. Like, you don't see that nowadays. Right? Yeah. You get, you get cheap stuff all throughout, but these are, like, they're just such well-made cars. Yeah, well, everything's mass-produced nowadays, and mm -hmm. I feel like this was, like, very hand-picked. There weren't that many produced compared to today's numbers. I think it was, like, 800,000 or something. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. But... That was a lot. Yeah. But still, I feel like it was very um, hand-picked. Yeah, I mean, they're such luxuri luxurious cars that people wanted them, you know. Mm -hmm. So that, like, this car, I believe the MSRP was around, like, 80000 back in the 80s. Wow. And it was equivalent to, I was, like, kind of trying to do the math. It's close to, like, 176 or around there. Wow. Like, so you were a high roller in one of these. Yeah, you, you could, most people can't afford that or, you know, you oh, have gosh. to have a stupid amount of money to have a car like this but these were you know the european limos they were at the embassy they were high class european limo yes that is a great way to describe this i feel like i am in a limo especially really the back seats i mean i just can't get over the space back here mm -hmm. i mean it's almost like a as much space as an suv in today's right well, and it's funny when you think about it, since it is an S-Class, I mean, so we've had some S-Classes and some of the bigger ones, it's funny, you sit in the back and you're like, I have so much space. Yeah. And it's the same with this, I mean, of that time, it was the most spacious, you know, kind of SUV you could get. Yeah. SUV, I mean. SUV, <laughs> you mean sedan? Yeah, I really do feel like it when I'm in here. Yeah, so here you have your AC controls, and I'll show you works great yeah super cold too yeah it blows really cold you got your ac here and then like the back you have the heated seats which was a huge upgrade back in the day it's still today but i oh, just can't believe one more thing sorry you just made me think about the horn this adjusts the horn like it it's considered like a, a city horn or a country horn huh and it has a different tone so you like flip it and it has a different how tone. cool I don't want that is hilarious I I'm at them, but yeah right it's kind of cool like how rant like it, it's just things like that that this car has all those features like you're talking about yeah make it so luxurious mm -hmm. well with Haley's road rage we may be honking so <laughs> hopefully we can test that out or hopefully not, but yeah, hopefully we'll not, see. Maybe. Never Let's see how this thing goes on the freeway. It just glides. Super, super smooth acceleration. Mm -hmm. around this semi. Yeah, right. Easy as that. By. 
I absolutely love the interior in here and you can't really tell with this lighting how blue it is mm -hmm. but I just love it. it you don't see this nowadays like this kind of blue interior you have the blue carpet around super well cut on the door panel here you have that ventilated door panel as Haley explained and again that wood on the side and then also here you have the power adjustable seats and I love that even though this is an 88 you still have that classic Mercedes uh, adjustments here that they've kept yeah, like all the way mimics which part you're adjusting yeah and and they've kept this concept where it's been recreated by other manufacturers but Mercedes it's just classic for it has headrest too I believe that little knob on the right yeah Oh, I think that's so cool. I love it. Yeah, you got your AC vents and then you have your dash almost in perfect condition. You have one little crack there, um, but not so too so bad. Was, that one really blends in too, which I like. You don't have a very obnoxious. Yeah, one. no, it's really not. Um, and then, of course, you, you got your, here. Uh, you have your original Becker Grand Prix radio system there too which is really nice you know for that collectability factor yeah for sure it's and just so original sorry I keep putting on yeah no you're fine um and then here I really like this how it's kind of I don't know it blends in with it really nicely but you have your cigarette ashtray you big know one too. <laughs> yeah big one if you want to light up a couple smokes and then, <laughs> and then you have your gear shifter here and I know that the four speed manual or four speed automatic was was uh, standard for the US models but five speed manual was standard for anywhere else and oh, so wow. Haley you know she got Happy. lucky with the with the standard or manual god bless automatic automatic <laughs> well, uh, and it's cool too you have this um this gear shifter, I forgot the actual name of it, but having all these kind of like indents and everything mm -hmm. was kind of like a, a newer thing. And, you know, obviously it's been quite copied since now, but it's very cool instead of having that standard straight, you know, uh, adjustment. I really love, you know, just kind of puts it into place. And yeah, you can right. Even, you can move it all while it's parked. It's, you don't have the button or anything to move it. It's kind of crazy. It's, it's a really neat look and yeah it looks really really cool so here you got your windows and then this is for the um for this side mirrors well it's funny too so that's the passenger side mirror and then something that's hilarious is then on your driver's side you have the manual adjustment right oh here. interesting so it's like out of all the features on this car you know it's it's so german made like oh well you're right here you can just move it with your hand why would you have a button but right then have, but then they put a button for yeah, this one instead of making them both automatic it's just kind of funny to see those quirks of that german made that is funny car. so you have your rear windows here put a little air going yeah i'm starting to sweat Woo! Gosh, it blows so good for it. It does. Wow. There we go. Just a little. Oh, just a little would be a great. So down here, you just have a little storage. It's not covered storage like a normal um, center, console. center console, but I love this. It's just so comfortable and luxurious and. Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. It looks really, really One cool. One thing too about this that I really love is when you adjust your seat here, I'll do it. It moves with the seat. Oh wow! Isn't that cool? So that like as the driver, you want it in a good spot. Yeah. It'll always be exactly where you want it. How cool! I think that's so neat that it moves with that driver's seat. Yeah. And then you have your you know aftermarket phone, and then you have your microphone up there. I don't know. That's something easily to be taken out if you want but yeah and then you have your glove box here which i love yeah little cup holders but not really cup holders they're more like kind of? they're more like coasters with a little bit of a lip but no it just reminds me of a little lunch tray like 
and uh, like an airplane, you know, have it your does. have your lunch on a, on this tray. Um, and then of course you have your original sticker here, which looks really cool. A lot of space. What's well, not to love with all of that? Like it's just so original. It's so original, and I don't know. It it is an '88, but everything is so upgraded for its yeah. time yeah the technology in this is is crazy i mean the fact that it has the automatic seat adjustments not just front and back but you know the back and the headrest and everything like that it's like they really thought of everything mm -hmm. you know they really well thought out the luxurious things like it, it was built for luxury and it was a well thought out design and Model. Yeah. Like we were talking about earlier, it just feels so nice when you're driving it. Right, so you have your sunshades here, the mirror, look at that, just perfect condition. And then what I noticed that I like and Haley likes as well oh, yeah, that's cute. is this cute little extra sunshade. So look, when both of them are down, you don't have that little annoying crack that you always have. And that's it's just so perfect. nice. Yeah. We're talking about how, why don't cars nowadays have that? that exactly. That is like the best little feature I've ever seen on a car. Yeah, and you have your lights here. Whoops. Light there. Whoa. Oh my gosh. gosh I'm struggling. Clearly not left-handed. <laughs> and you have your sunroof up here. The headliner is in great shape. I really like that it's in that light gray. Kind of ties in the exterior color. And in the back, again, just, I can't get over the space and the comfort that that back space has, or back seat has. Mm -hmm. And the seats. Yeah, It's and like, the seats. this is your nap car. This is the ultimate nap yes, car. Yes, this is a great nap car. And you can see in the back, that rear window, crystal clear. And just look at the carpet all around, just extremely well kept. Mm -hmm. I just can't believe it. is the turn radius on this yeah it's a big car that can i don't know maneuver it, around it's almost equivalent to like the mini cooper like you turn the wheel and it turns it's like a jet ski or like a ski boat or something it, that's hilarious i really love you know the way it handles and maneuvers yeah the telescoping Ooh. or is it telescopic that just goes it just goes in and out it's yeah. not up and down just in and out but, but it's really still nice. i mean that's just crazy for an 88 yeah i mean so you you find cars nowadays that don't even have that right yeah so that's really nice to have that functionality of adjusting yeah i feel like those those bricks too every oh. other car we go on it's so obnoxiously loud but in this it just handles them like nothing not even loud but you know we we bump around and stuff with other cars and this one it's like it these seats like you just move with the bumps uh -huh. it's like you're on the ocean like you're just kind of like yeah nice and mellow i love it and here you have a little cute little um storage area you could slide it's pretty deep too yeah something in there but on both sides too which is really nice oh nice it's just this car it was built for the standard of a nice car instead of the cost. It was the last time they focused on building just such a luxurious car and not like how much is it gonna cost and all that stuff. Everything's so high quality. In, right. In this. Yeah, you can just tell, I mean, with the leather and the carpet, everything, it's just really well made. The different features like having those, um, the side door panel, having the air come through those Yeah, the air flow. Is like, it's they spent so much effort like the tail lights all those things you mm -hmm. can just tell it was like it was made to be such a nice car versus yeah it's like oh let's what's cheaper <laughs> yeah it's extremely well crafted for sure
Wow, that is such a classic car. It's classic, luxurious. I'm in love this, with this one. Make sure and check it out on our website, autohostinaples.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out all of our reviews and let us help you drive, drive your, your dream. dream.